These are the bits and pieces of one of the largest sculptures ever created on the planet. That is a finger. This is the kneecap. There you see the feet, and there you see the torso. The weight of the sculpture is estimated as having been 1,000 tons when it was in one piece. The quarry is 200 kilometers away, and so the block from which it was carved would have to have been at least 1,200 or 1,400 tons. The question is, was it carved in place in Aswan and moved here, or was, it, was the block moved here and then carved? And we are reasonably far from the Nile, so how was it transported 200 kilometers? So there are his toes, and here is a smaller statue next to it. And the next step is to actually climb up on top. Statue, uh -huh. statue, statue. Keep pushing. Yeah, I see, I see. Thank you. Yeah. So this is the biggest pedestal in the whole world. Mm -hmm. And this is, in my opinion, weighing around 500 tons. One solid piece of granite, rose granite. You see 500 ton base on which possibly a 1,000 ton sculpture rested. Here are his toes. <laughs> the only thing was done in that time. That's right. There was so many things in other places. That's right. So we need 5,000 there, 5,000 here, 5,000 that spot, five. So the whole nation will be busy just pushing and dragging the stones, which is not convincing. But pushing and dragging is one thing, then lifting and is lifting. another. So this is the Colossi of Memnon, one and two. And Tony's here in front to give us a sense of scale. The material used to make these is quartzite, which is very hard. The term quartz should give you an indication of the hardness of it. And the stone came from Cairo, which is 400 miles away. They are conservatively estimated at weighing a thousand tons apiece. And what's most intriguing is the fact that with this one, you see it's made of multiple pieces. But this one, even though it has many cracks in it, etc., it appears to my eye that this is a solid piece of stone on a huge base. So if the stone was brought from 400 miles away and it's quartzite, which has the hardness at least that of granite, how did they move it here and how did they carve it? Because the dynastic Egyptians were a Bronze Age culture. They did not have steel or iron or diamond equipment, it is possible that this is a remnant of an older culture called the Chemicians.